If you're looking to delay, or rather fix the audio being out of sync on your ATEM, Blackmagic has a feature in the ATEM software control, so you can do just that. It's important to keep in mind that this is a feature of mic one and mic two inputs and not a feature of the HDMI inputs that are sending audio with the video feed. Also make sure that your ATEM software and firmware is up to date. Let's start off by running an audio sync test. I'm going to use this one that I found on YouTube and record just a few seconds of this going into my camera. I'll link to the sync test below. Next, record it using the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO with a solid state drive attached. Once we have a few seconds recorded, I'll unplug the hard drive and bring this video file into my video editing software of choice. For this training, I'll use Adobe Premiere. Start by expanding the audio waveform so you can see exactly when the noise is hitting and playing it back frame by frame to see when the noise is supposed to occur. As you can see here, moving this frame by frame allows us to determine exactly how many frames the sync is off by. Once we know the number of frames, we'll head back over to my ATEM, open up the Blackmagic software control, click on the audio tab on the bottom of the screen, and depending on if I'm using mic input one or two, I'll find the audio delay icon just below the gain knob at the top of the screen. It looks like an arrow icon pointing to a number. Click this button and adjust your audio sync as needed. If you'd like to confirm that this is the right amount of frames, simply jump back to the beginning of the instructions and do another recording to verify that your audio sync is now fixed. I found that on most projects, adding about four or five frames of delay is sufficient. Keep in mind, if you use different equipment or change out your audio mixer, mics, and cables, this delay won't be exact every single time. That's all for this ATEM Quick Tip. See you in the next video.